What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you another video. And for today's video, we are going to be discussing Creature from the Black Lagoon from 1954. Yes, one of the all-time universal classics. Like I said, over the next few weeks, going all the way into October, counting down to Halloween, I'm going to be tackling, tackling some more old-school, you know, original kind of classic monster films, but also mixing in some more newer adaptations as well, or like other vampire, wolf, or creature films. So this is going to be a good mix of stuff and content going on but today i really wanted to start with creature from the black lagoon 1954 i'm not doing any specific like order of how i'm going to tackle these movies this is just literally the one i was feeling i have seen this movie before and i'm really excited to discuss this movie but we're going to tackle it a little bit differently because these films you're older films you know what i mean you have to watch these films with a different lens you know because they don't have the capabilities of doing some of the special effects visual effects or things that happen nowadays and like i said back then it was more rooted in really good storytelling acting and stuff like that and also you know actual practical effects or makeup work so we're going to discuss a lot of that stuff and we'll go through a different ranking too instead of ranking and rating these films like a one out of ten type thing we're going to do it a little bit differently so i'll discuss that as well let's do this roll it <laughs> So for these more old school Universal Monster movies, I wanted to do it almost like a tier ranking thing or like, you know, class thing. So we're going to have a top tier, which is our A tier, which are ones that I think are all time classics. These are the ones that I think are the most influential and the ones that I enjoy the most. Then we'll have our B tier, which are ones that I had a lot of fun with and were really cool to enjoy and watch them. But I do feel they have a couple flaws here and there, but I would definitely rewatch those films. Then there's the C tier, which are ones that I can see the influence they had and on the subgenre or genre that they're tackling and stuff and I appreciate some things but they did just didn't really connect with me all the way and then we'll go at the very very bottom we'll go with the F tier and that's ones that I just flat out did not enjoy or I don't like and I can't really see why they're so important or they're highly regarded or something like that you know so that's the different tiers we'll have and like I said today, I wanted to discuss and start with Creature from the Black Lagoon from 1954. And I hope you like the lighting, the green lighting. Very, very appropriate for this one. So Creature from the Black Lagoon is directed by Jack Arnold. And this one stars Julie Adams, Richard Carlson, and Richard Denning. This is a fantastic film. This one follows some scientists that go on an expedition after in the beginning of the film they find a crazy, crazy fossilized hand that definitely looks like it's, it's like from a creature. It almost looks human-esque, but it has like, you know, fins for the hands and stuff. So it's very interesting find. And of course, the scientists and geologists are like, we got to go back to this area. So they go back to the Amazon. They go to a certain area called the Black Lagoon and searching for, like I said, on an expedition to find out where the this weird fossilized arm came from and see if they could find other parts from it then they end up coming across a creature that they had no idea that they were going to come across a humanoid amphibian type creature that is referenced as Gilman. So that leads into one of our amazing positives is that Millicent Patrick, the lady who designed, she did the sketches and designed the Gill Man, the creature, the way he looked. And she also helped out, you know, on set painting him and with the sculptures and stuff like that. Fantastic, fantastic work. In terms of designs and everything, I think the creature is by far one of the creepiest and scariest designs in terms of the universal monsters. So that's one huge positive with this film is, like I said, that it's so just just the black and white design like the way the gills move and there are two different actors that played this man too as well the creature there's an actor who played him in the water and also above ground scenes but yeah a lot of these sequences with the creature are very very memorable Another really good positive is I like the music, the theme of the creature. It does get overused a lot. That's one kind of mix and negative I could talk about is that the theme does get overused a lot. We basically hear the theme every time we see the creature on screen. But like I said, it is a really good theme. It is an iconic music score that I enjoy. And like I said, when you see the, the hand coming out or it's about to touch somebody or you see him behind the you know seaweed and like about to swim out and like you get that music score, that theme, it really does hit hard. So those those are probably my two hugest positives of the music, the creature design. I also really enjoy the setting, the Amazon, the lagoon kind of swamp setting, especially the night sequences. There's so many good shots in this one that are like 
legit kind of creepy, scary, and atmospheric. So that's one reason why I really wanted to tackle this film. Like I said, Creature from the Black Lagoon. This is one that I've seen probably, I want to say, three or four times. This is like the third or fourth time that I've seen this movie. And that's another huge positive is just the visuals. Like I said, every time I see them, I love the way they use the shadows, the lighting, and said that swamp you know, setting, especially when they're on the boat and the Rita, and you get the nighttime sequences when the creature's trying to come onto the boat chef's kiss the amazing thing about this movie is the underwater sequences the battle sequences the fight sequences they go a long way into doing a lot of cool stuff underwater you know when even when david and the other cat i forgot the other male's character's name when they go underwater looking for rocks and looking for stuff and then you see the creature comes across them and they see him and then they end up going down there to hunt him and stuff so i think it's really cool all the sequences especially even the one when he's kind of following Kay and the creatures just swimming below her, you know, following her, mimicking her swimming movements and just right there, just about to touch her, but he doesn't touch her. You know what I mean? It's just so creepy. And that plays on the factor of like people that are afraid of water. And that's one thing that I'm kind of a fear, like a fear of mine that's really big is that I don't like the ocean or deep water or anything like that. So just the idea of you don't know what's down there. Anything could be down there, especially because we haven't really dived into a lot of the ocean in certain parts that there are creatures down there that we have no idea. So this film really plays on that factor, and I love that. So that's probably another reason why I really enjoy this one. And it has, like, a, you know, like I'm not scared, but it has a creep factor to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Creature from the Black Lagoon from 1954. Like I said, we wanted to tackle one. These reviews are going to be a little different, like I said. Also, like the kills, the action sequences, I think they're actually quite threatening. Like there's some really decent scary moments when it comes to the kills and when he's attacking people on the boat and everything like that. So this film actually, like I said, be it for a more modern you know, Universal Monster Movie, because in terms of the creatures and designs, Dracula, Wolfman, Frankenstein creature is a much more modern design, a much more modern creature compared to the other ones. I think they did a fantastic job with this film. Like I said, in terms of a tier where I would put this film on the tier list, this would be a tier A film for me. This is an all-time classic, one that I can totally see the importance of it, the influence of what it did for films. And like I said, even to this day, when I watch this film, I think it stands up as a classic. So that's why I'm putting this one in tier A and why I really wanted to start with Creature from the Black Lagoon, you know, start off with a banger. But like I said, over the next few weeks going into October, we're going to be talking about a bunch of other films. So be sure you subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new, so you don't miss anything. Have that notification bell poked. Like the video, that definitely helps out the channel as well because like I said, there's a ton a ton of videos coming out. I have a plethora of stuff planned, and you don't want to miss a thing. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.